a leopard in Faridabad, Haryana, lynched to death by an angry mob. Another near Bhuvaneshwar, Urissa, was paraded by the mob after being beaten. These are not isolated incidents. Across the country, incidents of leopards coming into conflict with humans are on the rise. As mobs went anger on helpless animals, why is the forest department not able to get in and remove the animals safely? Despite the presence of the police, the administration, all we had to do was, you know, get some space and time so we could deal with the animal. And uh, people just took law into their hands. This is uh, extremely unacceptable. And I think the people who were responsible, who can be identified by the P uh, by the administration and the police, they should be identified. They should be punished. In Faridabad, the helpless animal, in fact, was chased for several hours, even as the police looked on, and the rescue teams that arrived did not even have the necessary equipment. In Bhuvaneshwar too, it was a similar story. Beaten with sticks, this leopard that strayed into Gandhapur village was hung from a building and then taken on a victory parade by its killers. For several hours, the angry villagers refused to hand over this dead leopard to the forest officials, demanding compensation for the injured. They allege that had the forest officials acted in time, this leopard would have been saved. For this leopard in Maharashtra, though, there was some good news. The forest department managed to rescue and release it back in the forest, all thanks to an awareness campaign with the local people, who informed the authorities on time. Across the country, as more and more lepers fall prey to people's aggression, is it perhaps time for a project leopard? With Jajati Karan in Bhuvaneshwar and Juhi Chaudhary in New Delhi, this is Bahar Dhan.